Hi everyone, here is a fantastic game. It's called Dueling Blades and the idea is it's a turn-based real-time dueling game. Might seem a little bit strange but let's demonstrate. Basically you are um, a guy who uh, is defending his land I suppose, um, or his town. You upgrade your weapons over time but the idea is it's a dueling game. So here's me, here's my opponent opponent's health bar, my health bar, my experience levels, and magic. Now, what I have to do is I have to anticipate where my opponent is going to be and the direction he may attack, and I have to try and outwit him. So in this case, I'm going to move to there, and then I'm actually going to set... Ooh, he got me. Set my attack arc. Now, what happens is the computer will then move, and if your attack arc overlaps him and he doesn't overlap you, you attack him. If both arcs overlap at the same time then you go into like a, a, a quick time event where you'll have to do uh, like pattern matching. Oops, you can see I've uh, missed a turn there. I'm going to get whacked. There are special powers and spells and power-ups you can get. I'm just going to try and hit this guy with this arc. Let's just try and hit him there. Ooh. Got me again. So what happens is you set all of your various mo movements up and attack. And then the actual fight plays out in real time based on his actions and your actions. It's really cleverly done. There is in-app purchases, although the game is free to play as a result. It doesn't appear to be too sort of play to win or anything like that. There we go. Got him. Um, but there is like energy level, so you can only complete so many jewels per day before you need to recharge your energy. Hey, you know, it, really for me this, this feels like quite a nice pick up and play game, rather than one that you're going to sit and uh, beast for hours and hours at a time. Um, certainly a, a good title when you're out and about and you know, you're in a queue or something, quickly flick this on and have a quick duel. Um, the thing I love most though about this game is that it's something different. A different kind of control system. Here we go, it's a quick time event. So what I have to do is tap as accurately as possible for when those rings close down. If you are the most accurate, then you'll get the uh, attack in. Okay, got him. At the end of every level, you or a jewel should I say, you get um, various victory points and gold and then you get a free spin. A lot of these things you'll know very very similar from uh, a lot of games with in-app purchases. You can then brag to your friends and so on, get more coins, the usual kind of stuff. I don't hold that against the game developer because I think the overall package has been done very, very nicely. Uh, certainly this is one of the, the most well-polished games I've seen in a long time. It also has PvP battles in there as well, so you can play against your friends or random people. You can level up your character, including your class, so you can choose what kind of person your warrior is going to be. In this case, warrior or I think the other one, is it mage? Not too sure. Um, You've also got allies, which are basically your friends, blacksmith to allow you to buy new uh, equipment and skills. Uh, and the skill system just opens up these various skills, so there's my heavy slash. And as you unlock, as it were, you can gain new skills to use. Really, really nicely done game.